I have to get to the bottom of this. It's a highly questionable investigation. What was going on with your hair that day? We need to know what oh, the... Oh, man. Man, listen, so truth be told, as you can tell, I started, you know, losing my hair a little bit. I, I, I know the struggle. I'm with you. Right, yeah. So I started losing the hair a little bit. Uh, they came out with this, it's like it's like a like a hair dye or whatever for men called the Beijing. Well, I had one, you know, one guy that was like, yo, have you ever thought about growing your hair out? And I was like, yeah, I was thinking about it until I saw some of these little bald spots on my head. So I was like, you know, I just cut my hair off. And so he was telling me that he could, you know, you grow your hair out, I could cover it up a little bit and make it look like you got a regular, you know, haircut. So I tried it and he just made my stuff look like like shoe polish up there, man. <laughs> I still like I, listen, this is this is this is like 5 years later and I'm still hearing about it. Oh yeah, so, you go hear about I, it. I the still end. get this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We we've been sitting here for twenty it. minutes trying to figure out how to work it in. Like this is this is you know we didn't want to hurt your feelings, but you know we, 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 it, it was a thing. You know, like nah, it, nah, it, tr trust me, I didn't hurt her from my teammates, uh, from my girl. Like I didn't hurt her from all my homies growing up. So it ain't nothing I haven't already talked about. But yeah, I was you know I was trying to get my hairline back and. You know, a lot of guys do it. I'm not going, like I said, I ain't need no brown, I ain't no snitch. I'm not going to drop no name. A lot of guys do it. But that was definitely a, a mistake in, uh, in the history. So, but I guess, never, you I'll tell you this, though, never again, never again. No, no. <laughs> but, but when you left the house, you had to know what was coming, right? Like, what was the feeling like when uh, you looked at it and you were done and you were just like. <laughs> are you yeah, I tried to shampoo that thing about seven, eight times, man. <laughs> Listen, so I went in the mirror. You know how you get a cut. You know, you think you looking all right, right? So I go to the back. I go to the mirror. I'm thinking, I'm going to look fresh. I said, I'm going to get this out of my head. I shampooed like seven times and it still wouldn't come out, bro. Man, and then I go to practice, right? Because it happened at night. So I go to shoot around the next day. Oh, no. Oh, and my, no. all my teammates are like, Booze, what did you do? <laughs> and then, and even more funny than that, we're, we're at Boston, you know, KG, Ray Allen, Paul oh, Pierce, no, oh, no, ESPN oh, no. gang. Oh, no. You know what I mean? And this is when they started putting a little camera through the middle of the court. So there's like, it's like the extra HD just popped out on every channel. And I had a hell of a game. I had like 22 points, 20 rebounds. So the camera was on me anyway. So I'm over here like, there's no, there's no avoiding it, guys. There was no avoiding it that night. No avoiding it. At least, at least you didn't punch the referee in the, ju in the jewel. Right? Yeah, not that, that night. <laughs> not oh, that. I didn't punch funny. him in the chicken nuggets that night. Not that night. Oh, man. <laughs> Way to own it. Way to oh, own man. it. You know. That worked out so much better than I thought it would. <laughs> Uh, Carlos, thank you for being on with us. We enjoyed that. Thank you, sir. My pleasure, Gracias, guys. Carlos. Gracias. De nada.